balik lagi dan gue bakal beli Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. So, uh, ada dua pilihan kemarin uh, ke si Prince Lawrence atau ke si Toad. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! <laughs> Wait here. Enough, all right. Just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. So, what are you? Did you get a clue? Siapa sih yang nangis? Wah, teleponnya sampai putus. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain fight. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Oh, okay, sekarang kita bakal investigasi. Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. A 
The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Faffing about? <laughs> faffing about. Uh, sekarang kita lihat pintunya kagak pintunya. Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Dan sekarang kita ke ke mana ya? Soundtracknya kayak soundtrack X Files sedikit sedikit. It's just some wood rot, not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why is that? It's blood, still fresh. Oh well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Kayaknya lampu deh. Tuh lampu kan? If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. Well, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Could do a better job dusting. Oh no. So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? You cut yourself, but didn't put the poker away after? Oh, I'm sorry, me housekeeping's not up to your standards. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you'd cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll <laughs> What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no, there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. 
just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. <laughs> you heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? You don't have spares? Separate key under the mat or something? In this neighborhood? Are you off your rocker? If it ain't chained to me billfold, the mungy rats will take it away as soon as they catch a starlit twinkle. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around in my private myself. belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad. You're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman ain't. Or thought he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. You wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Bye -bye. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. See ya. DJ, DJ, DJ. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? 
Lawrence's. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. So, makasih buat kalian yang udah nonton. Uh, kayaknya kita nanti dulu. Early morning. I don't want to yeah. stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Okay, so makasih buat kalian yang udah nonton. Subscribe, like, share, comment, dan satu pertanyaan buat kalian. Kalau misalnya kalian jadi Wolf dan sekarang di Lawrence, kalian mau ngapain? Mau nanya nanya Lawrence atau mau ngapain buka suratnya? Makasih buat nonton. See you. Sampai jumpa di episode berikutnya. Bye.